how to enable or disable Performance Z plugin to view system performance indicators on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. First, tap on the home button to return back to the home screen. And on the home screen, swipe up to go into the app screen and then tap on Gaming Hub. In Gaming Hub, tap on the More button and then tap on Game Plugins. Now, if you do not see Game Plugins, you can install it from the Galaxy Store. So in the Galaxy Store, you can search for I'm just going to close that. So we're going to search for game plugins. And from here, you can install game plugins. Once it is installed, it will be in here. So you can tap on Performance Z. So if I go back to my gaming hub in here, I can tap on game plugins. And this will open up the same game plugins page. And from here, you can download Performance Z and install it. After that, you can tap on the toggle button to switch it off or turn it on. To customize the Performance Z, tap on the left hand side panel. In here, you can customize the frame rate, CPU, GPU, temperature, memory usage. And you can change the temperature unit to Celsius or Fahrenheit. Now, if you tap on the back key, and if we go back in here, you can launch the game to open up that performance Z. You can swipe across here and then down here, tap on the settings icon. And here you can do a number of things. This is the panel right here. So you can choose to turn on or turn off any of these items in here. So we've got the frame rate, we've got G uh, CPU, GPU, temperature and RAM. So that's the RAM right here. When I uh, deselect it, it will disable RAM from the panel. In here, I will turn on all of them, so it will display all of the items in here. You can also change the floating. So the floating transparency, you can also change that. You can set it to landscape, square or portrait. Now it's gone at the moment, so I'm just going to bring it back, back out. It just seem to be disappear. So there it is. So portrait, landscape and square. And you can also change it to dark mode, light mode. I don't know what's wrong with this one, it's just gone again. So we've got different colors, you can change it to different colors or simply transparent. You can pin it or unpin it, set it to auto or show, hide and auto. So that's probably because um, we set it to auto, so it automatically hide. Uh, after a few moments, it will automatically hide itself. So here, if I bring it back out, and turn on. You can see when I tap it, it will collapse or expand. And in here, we can also change. So tapping on that will allow you to set, set to auto or turn it on. And then we can also change the size of the panel. So we can set to square, vertical or horizontal. And we can pin it or unpin it. So all of that can be done in here or from the shortcut out here from the panel. And that's it. So that is the performance monitor. So here we've got the frame rate is 30 FPS. We've got CPU, GPU, temperature, and RAM. And that's it. So here I can start the game, skip. And if I tap on start, you can see I can move this one around the screen. Okay, so during gameplay, you can view all your frame rate information in here. And you can move them around the screen as well. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for my videos.